8. At this point, we're getting into a segment that I know you love, I love. And today, I'm happy to have my own brother who's, you know, I uh, would like to say dog me for like a long time. I said, we chop me up, we chop me up, we chop boy, so no, he covers a party B. Just say, or say, eh, eh, two against the Kobe. Kobe won't be party B. That's that's the truth of the matter. But I have the man. It's your boy, Creamy, here in the studios. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Charlie, how are you? And how has COVID then and the pandemic dealt with you? How has it affected you? Same with everybody. We are, mm -hmm. um, I won't say we are scared, but we are being protective of ourselves mm -hmm. and trying to make sure that we keep our families safe and make sure our families are also safe. Mm -hmm. and we are right. Um, Arnold, mm. just when we knew uh, you are going to come and criminal was going to come, I've always had this question for you. What do you make of the criminal? <laughs> Of the creamy brand, you know, over the period, what, what would you say about it? Um, I think it's he's been one of the brightest sports to come out from highly spiritual music. Initially, he looked like the go to guy from that label, the go to guy for from the label, okay. as in, you know, on every label, there's that guy, mm -hmm. you know, that sits on top, and everybody, you know, feeds off that personality, right? And so, that's how he looked like. And so probably the label decided to go, not to discredit him, but it's the reality. Mm -hmm. So the label decided to go with Mr. Drew. If I were a label head, I would do the same because of business purposes. Mm -hmm. Because of the controversy that shrouded Mr. Drew's case, you know, song theft case, mm -hmm. it gave him a certain mileage and a certain leverage. And so it was important for the label to capitalize on that and release singles from Mr. Drew. And so if you realize, almost every single Mr. Drew released after that situation was, oh, a hit song. Mm -hmm. And so it did affect him in a way. Because at the normal sequence, I would expect him, with regard to his talent and his rise, mm. to come up with single after single after single. Mm -hmm. But because of Drew's issue, Kewa thought it was a lesson. Let's capitalize on this advantage that we have. And keep on bringing bangers from Mr. Drew. Mm. And that's how come for a, a while we were not hearing from him. Mm. I have a personal question. Yeah. That if you say he was like the go-to guy yeah. on the label, what were the criteria you used in measuring that? Voice. I mean, he, he sounds like the most talented person arguably on that label. Mm. We got to vocal abilities, vocal dexterity and all. Simple as that. Right. Okay, that's a beautiful point made there. Um, Kobe, you? Um, hmm. I think that he's good. I mean, like I said, mm -hmm. uh, when I, I think I followed him uh, when uh, he was on the music uh, MTN. Yeah. Yes, yes, MTN Hitmaker. And um, he was dope with his voice, like I uh, said, very powerful voice. And so when you sit behind watching highly spiritual music, you think that, yo, creamy, yes. Mm -hmm. But I think it's, it's not too late. And I like the fact that both of them now, Mr. Drew is doing his own thing, pushing from his hand. And he's also got a uh, different team pushing. I mean, mm. when you release the new one, are you going to talk about it? I mean, within some few weeks, it was yeah. all over. Yeah. So that should tell you how these guys separately have been able to also manage mm. themselves to push it individually. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, as I, I like it. I mean, mm. I like the way they are going. It's just like Links Entertainment. Yes, Eugene and Kelly. So their strategy is. We do not want to have the two of them the same time on the rise. Mm -hmm. In that way, Lynx Entertainment would always be out there. So if Kwame Region is having his run, then mm -hmm. we'll subdue KD for a while. Right. Then if KD is having his run, we'll subdue Kwame Region for a while. Right. And that's how come now they are pushing for KD to win Artist of the Year. Mm -hmm. Just after a year that Pan won. Yeah. So that's how I'm seeing these guys. And I think it will work for them as well. Right. I think we'll have that conversation some other yeah. time. Um, Patty Bay. Yeah. Obviously, sometimes songs comes out, you know, from inspiration, you know, social lifestyle, personal lifestyle. Are you a Patty Bay? <laughs> now I think I'm a Patty Bay. I've become a Patty Bay. <laughs> the song has made you a Patty Bay. Uh, well, I think I started becoming a Patty Bay from mm -hmm. December there, mm -hmm. you know, when we felt like Charlie, um, throughout Corona 2020, we are still alive, we are still healthy, we have our families and everything. 
felt like celebrate with our friends and our families. So I think from that time I became a party bear to January to now. Mm. Yeah. I see. So <laughs> now it's party bear. So you <laughs> watch your life on our Detroit? Uh, no, party bear. I, mm -hmm. I would say uh, the inspiration <laughs> is mainly from Kenmada. Mm. Yeah, Kenmada and uh, myself, Kwa and my manager Lucky, we in the studio putting things together. So it's just a, a collective thing. Mm. I see. Now the video is out, the song. So we're going to see the video and then we'll do the review. So whatever, you know, your comments are, or if you've not seen the video for the first time, I'm going to play it to you. When I do that, we'll get to review it. And once that is done, I would urge you to go on YouTube and see it for yourself. And so, um, now interestingly, you know we have some sort of a tradition here that sometimes we allow you not just to comment, but also we get to, people get to see you actually telling us whatever you want to tell us. So you can take your phone like this and record yourself a selfie video of yourself and whatever you have to tell Mr. Creamy or anything to tell last year on the show, say it in 30 seconds and send it to our WhatsApp number 055 So pick your phone, record yourself this way and then send us a video of whatever you want to tell um, Creamy and then the entire team here. And Tino, send me a minima e ni de bia no. We no no. E ya ma wa kunya ma oso so to me e dey dey come. Anya say we test e keke bet oso so. We be den we be nya kunya ba TV so no be hu say wo asi me see ajoa kwa me kwesi wo na o kasa. Di fa o phone no na video section na record the video um for yourself. <laughs> record your own whole video. One who nani a person who can be a can a video not to say video away and they are two status so an answer BB. Now we are what sending it to our WhatsApp number zero five five seven one nine zero eight eight eight. Eba ye be show waha ubi abi who say or see me see kwame one awo kasa. All right then now Yanko, let's go and see the video party B. Let's go and see it. We'll come and review. So when you're watching it, watch it. Nyaun pe video and what you don't like, what you like. Whatever it is about the video you want to tell us, you say it in that video uh, message you will send us here. So let's go see this one, a new one from Creamy Patty B. We'll actually enjoy. Wow, such a fun video for that matter. And the song obviously is one that you'd want to have at a party, most definitely. I'm sure this will be like the climax for every party in the country and beyond so if you go for a party and they don't play party B, you might as well want to go home so um video but before we talk about video we'll talk about audio and again maybe maybe just maybe i'll offer the opportunity to see the video again all right so now you've seen the first video and or you've seen the video i should say and so just pick your phone file phone or now send us a video of what you think of the video you understand <laughs> <laughs> it is a 055-719-0888 is the WhatsApp number. 055-719-0888. Send it through and then we'll show it on the show. Let's talk about you. Kobe. Okay, well, there are some of, I mean, there are a few things that I respect and I know definitely you're going to nail it. One is the sound quality. Mm -hmm. The mixing is on point. The mastering is on point. Again, song arrangements. Now, one of the unique things that makes song a hit song, and we, I mean, we can tell from all the hit songs in Ghana, is the hook. Mm -hmm. If it's very catchy and everyone can sing along, the possibility so of it becoming, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, je, 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 exactly. So, the party, the party repeating its end, the song. Right. Easy to sing along. Easy to sing along. I understand. Word, yeah. and, uh, song arrangement, like I said. And also, it sounds party. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Party gay, it sounds party. Because, oh, to me, I said, oh, 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 turn your mouth out here, party gay, and I, bro, bro, I'm off with you. And so, and then, uh, party gay. <laughs> party gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh, and so the title of the song gives uh, it that life of the song. Yeah. They say, when you be, I want to know that cry now. Now what's the title now? It can give you an idea of how the song mm -hmm. will go, especially with the tempo. Mm -hmm. So for me, the sound is good. Arnold, how do you? Oh, uh, big ups to Creamy and the team. 
because see, we are in a season of danceable up tempo sounds. Mm -hmm. So if you consider from Open Gate to No Darling to this year and a few others, that's the season we are in now. So yes, Afrobeat is still in, 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 in the free, mm -hmm. but the party songs are dominating kind of. And so I'm not surprised that um, after the Open Gate and the No Darling and the DCS and all mm -hmm. that songs, Kimi would want to also take part in the shine. Mm -hmm. Again, his biggest forte is the voice. Mm -hmm. And so you could actually feel the voice distinctively in the song. There's no dispute about it. The voice is always a trump card. And so you could actually feel it. So for me, I think the song is a party song. Heavy song. It's a jam. Right. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have a question for you on the song, but I think we'll get to the video. But before we see the video, we we'll offer the opportunity to see it once again so that we can come back and talk about it, you know, properly. And so, once again, for the second time on the show, oh. we're going to see. Right. If you're watching the video, yeah, mm -hmm. pay attention to the close shot where he was wearing the black. Mm -hmm. We'll speak about it. We'll, we'll speak about something. Would you pay attention? Yes. To so, those watching, let's you. Pay attention to where, where he was wearing the black, the black jacket. Yes. They should, they should just watch that carefully. Okay. You saw something there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talk about okay. it. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's take a second look at the video party by Creamy, Kofi Molly, and Ken Maga. So take a look at the video. But once you're doing that, like I'm saying, once you're doing that, record a video of yourself and tell us what you think of the video or the song, whichever way, or whatever message you've got for Creamy, you can send it through a video chat. So send it, record it, it should be SC 30 seconds. I am a man bro, 30 seconds. Titakra. Now I can also watch it while drinking. So 055 7190 is the WhatsApp number. So again, let's go see the music video for the song Patty Bay. We're back shortly after this one. You on, on, on. I think um, like two days. Two days. You show in two days. Yeah. Okay. The, the first part we we thought we had finished, and then we just added some things for I think a day or two after. Where? What you what you shoot? We what shot this at um, we shot some at uh, Vienna City Circle, mm -hmm. and then we shot some at uh, the the rooftop at um, what's the name? Close to Latvia Pashi. Mm -hmm. There's a rooftop there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, um, I don't know whether it was intentional, mm -hmm. and that's a schedule. Mm -hmm. But when you watch the music video, the first one, I mean the close up, mm -hmm. yeah. his hair was very bushy. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, it's true. And in a subsequent shot, it was clean. It was clean. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. What's that? I said, I in a bar and I read for you. No, the thing is, that part. Yeah, initial shot, mm -hmm. it wasn't part. Mm -hmm. And then um, Kewa was like, we didn't really get a close-up shot, shot of Creamy. Mm -hmm. And he feels most of the shots are not mm -hmm. intimate with the artist. And mm -hmm. he feels that that's something that is needed. So it was a rush in shot because KP7 was, he had another sh uh, shoot. Mm -hmm. And then I had to beg him to, oh, Charlie Kewa said, no, we need an intimate shot with our face and there wasn't any time to go get the same you don't you i mean have no idea and go for me exactly and visual visual is different from audio audio the way to me out on your being said you're actually studios and i said oh so can i go be but with music videos and visuals your brand is very key so how you look is very cool so do you think this take away something exactly from the brand exactly because the music video yes okay let's get it right does it take away something from the music video from the brand both Really? Because you come on the, I mean, I'm watching you. This is a music video. Mm -hmm. You come, I'm watching you. Your hair is all bush. Okay, so let's see. Mm -hmm. And the next scene, you're all shaped and clean. Mm -hmm. there's, there's some sort of continuity. Exactly. Consistency. Exactly. Continuity problem there. So when I, was, I, when I watched it, I had to reverse and see whether I, it was actually following a storyline mm -hmm. to know, say, yeah, or start to say, oh, if you know, I will first show me, no, I will 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 show me, no, but, but you didn't see that. I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, it's me, me, man, and I. But it kept. No, no. I said, they were all shaming now because I said, me, I shall know. It's definitely a friend. So, you need to crown a cop after party, you know. Now, so close up, that's how I'm going to see what's in food. 
So you have a problem yes. with that? Yes, so catch a key and say, Honor. So officer go for one go for next time, you know, I think you'll look somewhere appointing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, so this is actually good. So if you want to see what you know, Kobiche is talking about, go on YouTube the and then watch it on Mom YouTube so that you can get <laughs> So you can also see what Kobe is talking about. Interestingly, not lots of people, you know, will notice exactly. that, you yeah. know. So that's, that's um, a, a, sharp, a sharp one a from... I don't Well, for me, I think it's a good video. Um, my only issue has to do with um, the concept. Mm -hmm. Usually when you're doing a video and you want to inculcate a storyline, it must it must make sense. It must follow through. It must it must it must follow through. Like I say, it must make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And I saw him stealing his I don't know whether his brother or his friend stuff. Mm -hmm. So I should go into the party. That's a storyline that we we all knew and we we're supposed to follow. Mm -hmm. Then I saw another storyline with Alaji holding a cutlass on somebody's head. I didn't know where that came from. Mm -hmm. And again, I didn't, we also did not see the ending. Whether his, he was able to make amends with a friend, mm -hmm. whether the friend was pissed. I, Mm -hmm. The storylines were all over the place. Mm -hmm. And my other disappointment was the, um, the choreography, the dance choreography. Usually when you, you make a party song like this, one of the tricks you do in promoting the song is to come up with a, a whole new dance choreography, routine. Yeah. Right. So that you use the dance routine to push the song. Right. And I was expecting such a jam to have a dance routine that would have its own, you know, challenge on social media mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I did and not see. extent, influence. Yes, are yes. To want to do and so that's, that's a, a big disappointment for me because mm -hmm. it's a jam, and so you'd expect the choreography to to have a to to be lit, yeah. but it was so 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 abysmal for me that the choreography was not up to standard, and I felt like no, they they let him down mm -hmm. because they could have come up with a whole new vibe to push the song. Mm. Kimi, is it a case that from what Kobe is saying, from what Arnold said, was this particular video should rushed? Was it rushed? Um, before I answer that, I think the ending of the, the video, mm -hmm. we didn't we we watch it okay, cool. to the end. Okay, if so you the watch the video will on YouTube, mm -hmm. you would have everything. Okay, so what's the case? The storyline, okay. Explain some of the things. Okay. Okay. Um, some of the, 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 especially the part with the Mara or mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. It's because of uh, Kumole. Kumole's lines, yeah. uh -huh. and because of his lines, we had to make that part which sounded humorous, mm -hmm. make it visible for people to see and say, oh, yeah. that's what he was saying. Mm -hmm. And to me, I liked that part because okay. it was funny, Kakra. Yeah. And, and so that's the abstract mm -hmm. part of it. Okay. Um, another thing too is the, the choreography. Um, you know, He's saying they let me down. Probably. You let them down. Probably. Mm -hmm. I could also arrange that. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. The only thing is that I am not that dancer mm -hmm. that you know. Mm -hmm. So I would probably um, try and reach out to some people mm -hmm. who would give choreography ideas to make it better. So okay. maybe moving on, mm -hmm. if I have a jam like that, I'll reach out to some yeah. people who. Mm -hmm. Who could give me ideas yeah. to do that? Yeah. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say the video was rushed because we we planned the shoot, and if we're able to do most of our shoots within a day, mm -hmm. you understand that we had things in place. Right. The only thing is that, um, like I was saying, when when Kiwa brought the idea, it was because he saw the first cut, mm -hmm. the initial cut, and was like, "Challenge! I feel." Okay. Um, Creamy should have an intimate relationship with the viewer. Okay. He needs a close up shot with All the right. viewer. So that's why we added that one. Too. Okay. All right. So we'll go and see the start. But think of this for me. We'll come talk about, you know, budget and then we'll do ratings and yeah, and creamy will be out of here. Then we'll have the very your very own um, sweet lady Ikia Pimpolo join us and we'll talk about brand influencers. So the start, what's the start saying? Mm, Kobiche. You like numbers. I don't love numbers. Is it encouraging? Um, creamy, we're talking about creamy. Um, I think it's not bad. Mm. I don't know. Is it organic or organic? Organic. organic. Okay, so if it's organic, I think that uh, it's good. So if it's organic, we expect it to be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, uh -huh. Sometimes when you get organic views, mm -hmm. you, you know that at least these are organic. Right. So um, it's good. But I think that. Yes. Yeah. Mm, it's not bad. Um, but I think you can. You can you can put in more no, you're ink, in more food. We're just talking about theory. <laughs> well, I expect more. I expect more. You know, I expect more because of the stature of the artist. Yeah, right. 
and I can understand I can understand why it's it's, it's this number because he he's been away for a while when it comes to release of singles and so it has to take a lot of effort you know and a lot of pushing to ensure that the numbers go and this is one of the platforms to ensure that the numbers go but it could at least 250 in three weeks could mm -hmm. have been appreciable but for me with a creamy and 125 for three weeks it's, it's a bit low for me it's a bit low for me but it's okay. encouraging all right then so for you I, said, I, do, I do agree with him. you do agree on the part of the inconsistency yeah. mm -hmm. sometimes i feel uh, i think one time i even spoke to kobiche and kobiche was like Charlie, you know you're good you have to come back to back to back mm -hmm. what it does is it keeps people following yeah. you yeah. yeah and the more they are following the more they're the encouraging more, yeah. others to also follow right so i think break, that yeah. i agree with, with you on that Right, so you would say that your inconsistency to some large extent well, is affected. Well, to some extent, would, is affected would encourage opinion. that. But what I'm saying is, another thing too is, that, uh, see it this way, if, if Creamy is an artist that you, you enjoy, it doesn't matter the time he releases a song. Mm -hmm. Once you know you enjoy, you would want to follow him, and then whenever he releases, okay. you want to encourage the push for the song. All right, okay. That's mm -hmm. Let's hear Let's hear what some of your fans or people who love you are saying. Enjoy these ones. These are video messages. Even if you didn't say anything, it's fine. You know, next time try and tell us something. And okay, quickly, um, ratings. Let's rate it. Um, eighty percent. Eighty percent. Okay. All right. For the what? The video. The video. <laughs> For all you said, eighty. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's wait to that. Let me to eighty. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, okay. Like in a minute, let's wrap up. Uh, Plans twenty twenty one, Patrick B. You've talked about inconsistency yeah. having some effect on exactly, your brand. Yeah. Are you going to be consistent this time around? Yes. Um, I. The fact is, I appreciate what Queenie was some time ago, mm -hmm. what Queenie is now, and then the fact is that if if any anybody who knows growth will understand that if you see your demerits you know how to fix it to make it better mm -hmm. so definitely 2021 will be will be you know back to back jam so when are we to expect the next uh, jam from probably just this february your close to Val's day. i want to make sure that this year i give the people uh, a sort of like a creamy mm -hmm. 2.0 type oh, okay so, <laughs> how much did you spend on this video? Um, I don't know how the budget's QR. QR, you report. Yeah, okay. All right, that's fine. So that's it. Final words to fans out there. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Um, first, let me say thank you to uh, Toby Che and Amal. I really respect them so much because... Oh, let me hear. Oh. We are the host. We are the host. <laughs> and you have been supportive for a long time. If I talk about you, I'm being my ass. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I would say a huge thank you to everybody who sent in their videos. Um, mm. There are people, I'm sure I still saw some texts. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for yeah. following Creamy Music. Still keep following Creamy Music. Um, one thing that I take from this is that, uh, like Arnold said, the views is probably because of people not following because they felt probably creamy is mm -hmm. laid back and all of that. We are not we are coming back to back with um, sing singles, um, collaborations, mm -hmm. videos, a lot of things. So make sure that you stay telefriend to telefriend to follow creamy music. We are ready for the game. Yep. Right, okay. So management of Xylophone TV wants me to thank you for also honoring our invitation to, you know, be part of our nine lessons and cars with a jam. Yeah. Uh, and so thank you for coming thank you. through. Thank you. Uh, so that's it. That's the music video review segment here on the show. We're taking a break. When we come back, we're tabling a discussion about brand influencers and celebrities and whether or not they have influence at all in the first place. The Captain Polo is joining us for this discussion. We're back shortly. Don't go anywhere. It's a link up, yeah, a xylophone, it's a link up, yeah. 
it's a link up. Everybody know say it's a link up. Wait. You want more? Just link up. Link up. Showing every Tuesdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. Abranuma, starting Saturday, 6th February at 6 p.m. On Sunday, 7th February at 5.30 p.m.